So welcome back everybody to the L&M Tech Talk podcast. Yes, we have been a little bit, as every time we say it, um, been working on school, a little bit overwhelmed mm -hmm. with school, a lot of tests, but yeah, long time no see, old yeah, news. So, so it's school life. Basically, <laughs> if yeah. you have gotten to I think school, our last you know episode was about. like two, three months ago, but... Here we are, again, recording. We have not let you down. We haven't forgotten about you. But, yeah, let's start. <laughs> first, first we are gonna talk about some old news that happened in the, in the whole time we did not make any episodes. For example, uh, Elon Musk first bought a few... Uh, shares of Twitter, nine point two percent. A few, a and few. And then a few, yeah, <laughs> a few weeks later, or maybe just a few days later, I don't remember that well. He placed different offers to buy the one hundred percent of Twitter, and he got it got approved. So now he's in the process of buying it, but it's had different problems because. He has to cash out some of his stocks and get some loans, but that takes time. And with the different, yeah, stock curses, he might get more or less for his Tesla and other company stocks. So it has had some problems in the process. But yeah, Trump's gonna be uh, Trump. Uh, Elon Musk is gonna be the owner of Twitter, and he plans to make the platform i don't know opener and everybody can say whatever they want freedom of speech and and that kind of stuff yeah it's basically because lots of twitter got like banned or like censored and he was like yeah that should not happen and blah blah, blah. and i mean he's the richest man in the world and he said like yeah i don't want to deal with that anymore so twitter you're mine now <laughs> So, yeah. when so you got he money, got it like for, I think forty-four million a billion dollars, I think, or if you want to uh, view it from a different point of view, fifty-four point two dollars per share, and he's gonna pay that to how many dollars was it? Every fifty-four dollars and twenty cents. That per is share. actually much, much. Um, higher than what twitter is valued at right now because on the peak in like the for the the price for right now is 40.16 dollars for share so it's paying a big overprice for buying hmm. a lot of shares but i guess that's what you have to but pay. having you have to have in mind this news was from like i don't know two months ago yeah even then it was one. like 51 dollars or whatever He ha he has got the yeah. money to buy it, so it's not a problem for him. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's I think like twenty percent of the, his wealth, or something like that, that he's gonna spend on Twitter. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know. A lot of money. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that with my money. I I don't know. I would have done any something else, but not buy an entire platform just to make it. I don't know opener and freer i don't know yeah but yeah <laughs> next topic is still about elon musk um the tesla gigafactory in berlin that's the first tesla factory in europe opened and yeah it was pretty amazing and they're pr uh, gonna start well they already started producing the model y if i'm not wrong and yeah What's actually funny is living in Germany, you 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 can uh, hear what they what they say about it. A lot of people are were against it because yeah, you know the the groundwater is gonna be polluted because of the factory and stuff. And what's funny is they were almost done building the factory when they got the building permit. It's like they were all uh, already like a year in. Uh, putting all the trees down and and building everything, and they ha didn't have the the 
building permit yet, but you know, German bureaucracy, it takes a while. Yeah. But they got it and they open it. Yeah. So the goal of this factory is basically to manufacture almost every car or for now the Model Y and Model 3, I guess, will be produced there. But for Probably, I don't know. Yeah, but I guess that mostly that cars uh, for all Europe and more the Western countries. So they don't have to ship them every time they order a car, but they will just exactly. be arrived there. And it's actually cheaper for the person who's buying it because you have don't have to pay the taxes of import. You don't have to pay like the 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 charter to there. And so it theoretically makes it cheaper and also makes the carbon footprint a little shorter and smaller so if that's why you're buying a tesla it's also a very good good reason to make a new and it's not there. just like the the car business they also help with the battery business here in europe and and stuff yeah it's 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 a good thing but for example the the cars that the tesla cars that you bought here in europe i think came from china the the china beijing gigafactory if I'm not, I think, yeah, probably. Yeah. But yeah, that's the, the new Tesla chapter. <laughs> exactly. So now shifting from Elon Musk away a little bit. We have been talking a lot of about him. Um, now Apple, you will be wondering why I am talking about Apple. <laughs> but I'm talking about Apple right now. I'm not going to do much hate of it. <laughs> But, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. So, we got some new iPhone colors, as always they do. A very different phone, of course. <laughs> Same internals, different color. It's a totally new iPhone, of course. Everybody's gonna buy it because of the color, of course. <laughs> and we also have got now an M1 iPad Air. So, a smaller iPad with a very, very powerful chip the same chip martin's using yeah, that's the his. cheapest way to get the m1 chip now exactly before it was like the m1 mac mini but now it's the m1 ipad air <coughs> and so now we have a pretty big lineup of m1 products we have the m1 ipad air ipad pro and the mac mini uh, studio macbook air macbook pro and in in how is they call the the MacBook Pro? I don't know. And now, just like Matthias said, the Mac Studio. The Mac Studio is a professional computer that can be very expensive. It's for studio. And so. it, yeah, it has the new M1 Ultra chip that's built of two M1 Maxes chips put together. So you get everything times two because it's just just like that two chips together <laughs> yeah. and we're not gonna get so into detail because you know this was like two months ago so just like an over overview about what happened but yeah it's it's super so for um for now the most powerful m1 computer out there but you have to have in mind the mac pro like the the cheese grater the cheese macbook pro cheese grater macbook pro still not needs to get the apple silicon update they also mentioned that in the apple event apple themselves so that's coming so and it's gonna be and very very, very interesting and probably it's gonna come with the m2 chip maybe so a new version of the silicon so that's gonna uh, it's being probably, rumored but, right now but i think the mac pro won't have the m2 because the m well w i'm gonna talk about that later <laughs> because you'll see mm -hmm. but first to finish uh, the, the apple event from two months ago we also got paired with the mac studio the studio display that's like a cheaper version of the studio display xdr i mean instead of cheap, having cheap 6k it's not cheap. resolution and <laughs> yeah but compared to the six thousand dollars that the studio display costs this is a lot cheaper i mean from the so the from the pro display hmm? xdr it's on the us page now on 500 5000 us and now the studio display is it's it's much um 
it's not as big it's only 5k retina so it's not a, a xdr yeah. not 32 <laughs> inches but it's i wanted to say that but it's still a 1600 us dollars so it's not super cheap but if you want it and if you are super apple fan and all that stuff and you want a very 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 good display you can buy that one but keep in mind you may have to buy this stand the adjustable stand or was it that this one had it included yeah so uh, the studio display in the studio uh, xdr display you had to buy the the stand separately but here you can choose if you want the stand or the visa mount visa mount i don't know but if you want to tilt it then you need to buy extra stand exactly and it also got a webcam a webcam the the, the display as well as speakers and blah 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 and it's just 5k you have to imagine you have a, like a big iMac 24 inch iMac well 27 inch iMac but this is you know 27 inch yeah 20, uh, 5k display and, and you know what's interesting I I watch a video why um, Apple displays from with 27 inch are always 5k because of the way that Mac OS works the scaling is something strange with the pixels and stuff. So if you don't want your GPU to, you know, Over-process. overclock or have to have to work extra, you that's why the Apple displays have the resolutions they have. But yeah, yeah, and and I f- find it very funny that if you want want to buy the sixteen hundred dollar version and not the nineteen hundred dollar version with the nano texture, the fifteen the standard glass. The tilt adjustable stand is another sixteen hundred dollars, I think, or no, it only fifteen hundred. Mm-hmm. But with the tilt adjustment, it is. I think it's uh, more expensive to it's buy. It's three hundred dollars more. Yeah, and you have tilt also the tilt and height, height. The only tilt adjustment, uh, height adjustment, and then the, the Visa mount adapter. So you have those three three types. And. This little bracket, the Visa mount adapter, is um, the same price, so you don't pay much extra. That we is, have internet nice. problems, my friends. Yes. So Martin looks like to have internet problems. I will just move on. Because now it is my topic, now we are getting to the Samsung releases. Yes, finally, we have a new Samsung release. We have the Tab S8 family. So we have the Tab S8, the S8 Plus, and the S8 Ultra. These are very, very good tablets. These are massively good. Um, the the S8 Ultra, it is just crazy, <laughs> as as I will talk to you about in a minute. It is a crazy tablet because mostly of its size, I would say. Um, so we have i think it was let me i'm looking up uh, looking it up because i did not have it open don't blame me for that <laughs> um so on the tab s8 normal version we have um a normal size screen um that's uh, the typical what is it 12 inches no 14.6 inches no sorry but i'm talking shit now the S8 has an 11 inch screen, the S8 Plus has a 12.4 inch screen, and the S8 Ultra has a 14.6 inch screen. So it's around the same size as the screen of my laptop right now, so it's massive. And the, the yeah, it's very massive. I, I, one uh, a few weeks ago, I was in, in Media Mark, like the Best Buy from Germany, and I saw that. And it's just massive. It's so big. It's you're not used to have a tablet that big. It's it's pretty amazing. Yeah. So, and it's pretty thin too. <coughs> mm-hmm. That's that's what Jerry Rick from Jerry Rick Everything said. Like it would have come with some structural problems, but it had no problems at all with this test because of the massive battery as well. And um, on every tablet we have a 120 hertz display, so that is very nice intelligent battery and and each of them has a 45 watt super fast charging so it is also nice for the massive batteries to charge 
we have 4K video recording with the wide and ultra wide uh, camera lenses, but I'm not sure why you need to record 4K on a tablet. <laughs> that is maybe something Samsung should uh, answer later. But yeah, on the S8 Ultra, we have an 11,200 milliamp hours battery. So that is That's massive. bigger than my power bank. That is massive. So, I mean, you won't have any problems with the battery on that at all. I mean, you will use it like for two weeks and you will still have battery. <laughs> I don't know, but you won't have as many problems as you would have with a smaller battery. That's for sure. But yeah, that's that's pretty amazing. But remember, this was like also two or three months ago when it was released. So sorry for being late. Yeah, but we're at least reporting. About we are it. doing the job, like um, people. We are doing. It. <laughs> we are trying to better adapt. late than never. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so if you yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now keeping on and moving on with the releases. We have gotten. We have a new DJI drone. DJI is on a phase, fast pa pace of releasing, as always, every year a new drone. This year we got an addition to the Mini lineup with the Mini 3 Pro. This drone fits in the segment, of course, of the Mini lineup with under 249 grams. But this time we got more sensors in the back, down and in front. And a better camera with, uh, I don't know how many megapixels, let me 48, search. 48 megapixels. 48 megapixels, Massive. that's an upgrade from the 12 that we got before, I yes. think, in the Mini 2. Yeah. Yeah. It's also a bigger sensor, one, one third inch, I think. Yeah, one, one, something like that. One, one point three inches, so it's one, one yeah. point three inches, CMOS. And the, of course, they advertise it like Hasselblad and stuff, or not. I don't I'm know, not sure but the, 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 um, the special thing about this drone is that it's, you know, for creators, social media creators, so the camera can flip from horizontal to vertical mode, so you can film f videos for your reels, TikToks and shorts without yeah, having so to, to crop and lose resolution, so that's pretty innovative, that's pretty good for photographers too, but yeah. For those of you who aren't imagining it, the gimbal on the camera literally serves as a gimbal and also rotates the camera, which is like it's horizontal. So the camera m module is more more lengthy. So it literally right. rotates it all while you're flying with like one button, one press of button, and it rotates the whole camera, and it just takes a 48 megapixel picture, but in vertical. So you get full quality but on vertical so no more cropping and that is very nice and on the on the like drone part of the drone and um, the ascent and descent uh, speeds are also high, i think higher because on the mini 2 i have the descent speed maximum descent speed is only three meters a second and now it is five meters per second which is a big improvement mm. speeds are the cool. same max 16 um, meters per second but you have now a better better um, battery, so you have 34 minutes with you the have normal two, battery. You have two different batteries, exactly. that's, that's the thing. You get an intelligent fly battery, I think 4000 million powers and stuff, and then you got a intelligent flight battery plus, or I don't know what it's called, that gives you more flight time. 47 but minutes. You get with normal battery. You get 34 minutes and with the other 47, but of course with that battery you're over the 249 grams. But it's pretty nice drone. Are you? Uh, I'm not if sure you want to have that. something more pro. Martin, I'm not sure you you, you lose the yeah. grams. I think you are the yes. same. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a physically bigger battery. It's gonna weigh ah, okay. more weight. Okay. And 18 kilometers distance reach and it's also pretty nice and on the video side you also got uh, the the log profile and 4k 60 um yes 
1080, 120, and all that stuff. So it's yeah. pretty nice. You also have pretty a nice drone. You also have and a faster. Oh, you shotgun. got a, a new controller and a new controller, yeah. the one with the um with the screen on it. What? Yeah, DJI uh, RC it's called, I think. It's like yeah. the other, but that comes with a Mini Three Cine line. Uh, Mavic 3 Sydney or you know the one you can buy for the Mavic line it's also in here it's not as pro as the other but it's pretty pretty good yeah y if you want to know more about that just google it or <laughs> watch vi YouTube videos exactly because <laughs> I don't think we have enough time to get too much into detail because we have a lot of things to to, to talk about yeah Moving on now to the Canon side, to be wondering now, we have told you about the releases, for example, of the R3 and stuff, but now, moving on with new releases on the R series, we got, for example, the R7 and the R10. So the R7... The first APS-C exactly. cameras in the R lineup. Exactly. So these are mirrorless APS-C, like pro professional cameras, basically. Um, the R7 has a 32.5 megapixel APS-C sensor, 5-axis IB, so in-body image stabilization, a very, very good 2.36 million dot EVF. That's all right. That's, but I mean, it's a yeah, cheap camera. A flip camera. screen, then a flip LCD, and the Digic X processor. That's the same processor built into the Canon R3, so... Yeah, you need to have that in mind. Yeah, and also and dual SD card slots, which comparing to my camera, mm -hmm. mine doesn't have it. But the one downside to this and is you can one of one of one of the those uh, card slots is CF Express, and the other is SD, normal SD. Exactly. And yeah, you got 4K 60 and full HD 120, and the weight and the sizes. You know, somewhere comparable to the M Canon M lineup, maybe a little bigger, but it's definitely smaller and lighter than the R5 and R6. Yeah. Because I can tell you that because I had the R7 and R10 in my hands just je yesterday, no, on Friday. And they were pretty cool cameras. The R7 feels good built. And you can see the difference to the R10. The R10 is like a little bit smaller, just a little bit. And it feels a little bit cheaper than the R7. But the autofocus is, you know, it inherits the autofocus of the R3. It's not the same, but having the same processor and and stuff. So it's very fast, very accurate, very good autofocus. Yeah. And on the price side of the R7 body only um this is where i'm like a little bit yeah is it worth it because it's 1500 dollars almost like 1499 with the ship date on 23rd uh, Ju uh yeah june uh, this year so you will have to wait a little bit and it's f almost 1500 dollars maybe plus shipping so it is a little bit expensive if you compare it like with what you are getting um, only for no, I, I think it's pretty, pretty. I think it's pretty, pretty good pricing for what you're getting because it's a pretty good professional camera. That's uh, an upgrade from the M lineup. Yeah. Because yeah. for example, the M50 Mark II you get for seven hundred, eight hundred dollars with a kit lens, and now you he you are here paying a little bit more, well double. Mm. But. You know, it's for the pro photographers that use the R5, the R6, but need the crop sensor for, you know, wildlife or stuff. Yeah. So you get what you're paying for. I mean, if But you then if you want a budget option, you have the R10. Well, budget and it's <laughs> also relative. But here you have also an APS-C sensor, but with 24 megapixels and not... You don't have an IBIS. The... EVF is smaller and a little bit worse than the EVF from the R7. I can tell you that from experience. You also have the same processor from the R3 and 4K60 and Full HD 120. 
but you have a smaller battery and you have only one SD card slot and it's almost like the same size of the R7 maybe a little thinner like not that bulky and it's definitely notably lighter yeah. but you know you, you can feel that it's cheaper than the R7 but it's also a pretty good decent camera and it costs just around a thousand dollars instead of one nine thousand nine eighty it says on the Canon page so yeah. five around five hundred twenty dollars you're saving may do the difference for you to have the Ibis or not but uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is like the replace uh, it's replacing like the the of course the M M lineup because I think mm, <laughs> latest in one year they're gonna officially shut down that line yeah because having this it's not not it doesn't make sense to have that still running and it's like replacing the entry-level cameras on the reflex side yeah. you know like the rebel rebel t6 or i don't know of course it's more expensive but it's like the, the direction that it's heading to there again, I'm I'm happy that I bought the um, A6100 and not the M50 Mark II because that was one of my options as well. But then I decided for the lens market to buy the Sony one. And luckily I did because yeah, there is that's, not that much That was lenses. exactly the problem. That's why yeah. what they did this. Exactly. Exactly. So I, It's funny to see. I was following like, as always rumors on the internet and youtube and it's nice to see when you finally get the camera released and you 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 already knew all the specs everything was like true what you saw so that's pretty funny always yeah exactly <laughs> and and yeah. also unless wait, wait no, no Be before no, that yeah. um, keeping out with releases um we have not talked about uh, Samsung, um, I just m reminded myself that nobody cares about Samsung, <laughs> that's why we haven't talked about it. Hey, yo, 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 chill. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, we talked about it, but yes, no, but I, I remembered, I remembered that we now have um, some new, uh, some new, what do you call this, laptops from Samsung. So that is, um, we f you forgot that as well. Uh, we have laptops now <laughs> on Samsung. We did not have them um, before, so they were not um, very present or they... Well, we, the, we, we had them before, but, they but now they're putting more, them more focus and onto it. Exactly, they stopped producing them. And now they are, they are back at producing the Galaxy Book 2 and Book 2... No, the Book 2 Pro, it's called. You have a 13... 3 inch and a 15 inch i think and it has an intel core i5 or an i7 i think with 512 or uh, one terabyte internal memory i think and 8 and 16 gigabytes but you have a ddr5 ram amoled display and they are very very light and with an sd card slot and a jack so for headphones so that's something that we were missing on the Samsung side and we have them back, the jack. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's pretty interesting. And what we also got some news, unexpected news, is on the Pix Google Pixel event, or I don't know how it was called, they were probably like talking about software, but they gave us a sneak peek or almost like a confirmation and how it's gonna look like for the Pixel 7, for the Pixel 6a, and for the Google Pixel Watch. It's gonna be a round watch, a bit, a little bit in the Apple uh, Apple Watch style, but in round. Like it's a blend and of the Samsung and Apple, you would say, maybe. Yeah, exactly. You can define it like that. The Pixel 6a, you know, the typical A concept of having uh, a a little bit cheaper phone but still powerful enough it's always great bang for buck and the pixel 7 and 7 pro you know the next flagship but we just got the design not many fee uh, specs 
but it's all, uh, of course gonna be a new tensor chip the next generation and yeah and talking about new generations and releases Apple the next Apple event is gonna be on Monday that uh, the WWDC software is the main focus there iOS 16 Mac OS iPod OS and stuff it's rumored to that the reality OS for the VR goggles is gonna be presented and some rumors say maybe the M2 chip and the new MacBook Air so let's see what what we get yeah and um, yeah yeah and now to finish a little bit this episode off um i just want to maybe share with you um that we had some shopping doing like these oh, days yeah uh, uh, like always small <laughs> shopping so first of all i bought myself on some offer on amazon because i i always like find these super good offers for stuff on amazon so i bought myself the galaxy buds 2 these are the basically the, the upgrade the direct upgrade from the galaxy buds 1 i had before so these are awesome you have active noise cancelling much better like um, how do you call this in apple like transparency mode and they are just awesome the volume is massive the bass everything the, i just love them and to pair it all up with the cyber days that we had here in chile i bought myself the galaxy smart tag plus so it is this like keychain thing that like air it's like an air tag but by samsung basically <laughs> And I just love it because I have not lost my keys these days, which I before I did every time. And I can, if I lose them, I can just tap a button and and have it like make this nice sound. I can choose from the volume and all the stuff. And I'm just super happy because I now have a little bit more technology and everything. Yeah, you can you can make a short video about that and uh, upload it to to reels and stuff. I totally will. That's and talking about yeah. the videos for video quality, I also bought myself a um, KNF concept tripod horizontal mount or arm or whatever you call this. So you put on the tripod and the perspective from the camera it's like more on the thing rather than like a diagonal. So the quality of the videos should get much better. And for the editing, I bought myself the Angle Dongle, an Anchor Dongle 7-in-1, so I can now use more features, more trustable and all stuff. So the videos should get much better. Well, I also did some shopping. I got the Logitech MX Master 3 for my, for my Mac. I was always using the trackpad, but especially for video editing, I I wanted to have a mouse, so I decided to buy myself the MX Master 3. I got it for 49% off instead of like $100, 60. And I also got like uh, two months of the Adobe Adobe Photography plan. So that's Photoshop and Lightroom. So that's also pretty nice add-on. And yeah, it's been pretty good experience. And what's also an interesting anecdote is that as you might know i i don't know if i'll talked about this but i i work like in a camera shop as 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 a help person when they need personal i i help them and once they they had like a camera on the trash and i i said oh but that this is perfectly functional but they didn't want it so i took it home and i sold it like one month ago in ebay for one hundred dollars well, 100 euros, but yeah, 100% profit, so <laughs> that was pretty nice, just free money, and yeah, and so we have a lot of different unboxing videos from this whole stuff that we bought, so they're gonna be coming by the pass of time, I don't know, one yeah. after the other, but I don't know how long it's gonna take, and I want to say something else, you know, in the time where we didn't make any podcast episodes we did some shorts and reels and stuff especially now about the apple releases for example the new green iphones or the studio display and those performed very good for example the uh, iphones video got 1800 views on instagram 
in the Mac Studio got 6,956 views. That's the most that we've gotten yet. Uh, it was pretty amazing to see because just 30 minutes in publish it got like 3,000 views after the first hour 4,000 views and after a week like 6,000 so that's pretty amazing yeah it's, yeah it's very nice to see the channel like start growing getting more views uh, as Martin said almost 7,000 views now on the real well that's that's reels and youtube th the same video got like 50 views and on tiktok like 300 but but, but still something but still we are getting more views and more views and more views more followers also so that is super super yeah. nice to see you people also going listening to our podcast but i think it's more like people coming from instagram to the podcast but anyway seeing more people um seeing every seeing our reels and stuff and yeah yeah pretty nice feeling do you think that we're gonna hit our goal of hitting 100 subscribers this year if we want to do so we have to put like a little bit more effort now in the in the holidays when we have time to to produce some content but if we do so i think we still can hit the goal and we we have like six months left and Martin, do you think we, we should we still got time. do you think we should give the people a little bit more motivation to go on the YouTube channel and subscribe? Maybe. 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 Maybe we have something. Do to you have something in away. mind? Maybe. Nah. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna tell you in the next weeks if we if we do decide to do that. So <laughs> Or do you wanna do it now, Matthias? What do you think? I don't want to be an asshole to the people, but I think we're going to leave no. it to the next episode. So go and watch that next. <laughs> if you are excited for the giveaway, go to our Instagram and Twitter and like and comment the post that we're going to do about the upcoming giveaway. So, so yeah. yeah, keep looking at it. Refresh the page is like 10 times every minute so you don't leave the don't forget the post and see you on the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.